Hey everyone, it's me, Ice, and today I did something a little different. I used Ableton Live. So you guys know that I use Reaper a lot, and it's still a great program. It is available, it's free. I highly recommend getting Reaper. It's something I still use, but as of late, as you guys know, I've been trying to dig a little deeper and learn a lot more creatively. Yes, I've been playing bass. Also, I've been trying to see what's out there, see how I could push myself creatively, taking full control of my sound, what I'm capable of doing, what I can do. And there were some challenges along the way. I was very insecure because I was afraid to fail and for it to sound stupid, but I said if I don't learn anything new, I'll never grow. Messing with um, Ableton was something I was interested in because I've been inspired by some DJs and people, I've seen people discuss software that they use. Of course, people are talking about MacBooks and, you know, Cubase and then Ableton. And I think Keith Merrill also uses Ableton. I thought I saw someone mention that and I saw him recording with it as well. And I said, you know what, let me see what's out there. And I was interested in Ableton because I like messing with sound. And of course, being with Earthquaker, the avalanche pedal, I really, really love. And the way that it's so ambient, I decided to download Ableton 11 I'm only getting a the demo version and if you go on, on to their website right now they ha are doing a 90-day trial and this is due to COVID-19 so they extended it so if you're interested please go and check it out and um, so I downloaded it and I'm gonna show you right now what I created and right before we jump into the video, I just want to let you know for this video, I am not doing a tutorial on how to use Ableton because I went into this not really knowing what to do and I had to jump on YouTube to see other videos that could help me with Ableton. So if you're looking for a tutorial, this is not the video for you. I am not the most articulate, so I had to figure this out on my own a little bit. I just gathered a little bit of info here and there and I kind of just dived into the deep and I created this track that you are about to witness so I hope this helps and encourages you to just do it creatively and to figure out your sound and try something new and all right let's do this I will show you what I've created from the last two days Hey guys, so I downloaded Ableton and it's a 90 day trial. It's usually 30, but it's 90 due to the, you know, COVID-19. So they're extending it. This is day two of me using Ableton. I am, I mean, you guys know me. I'm not really articulate in what I'm doing, but I watched a lot of tutorials and, um, so I watched this boy. I'll, I'll tag him down below. And so far, I've created this track. And I'm just going with my gut here. Um, so, um, yeah. So I created this track last night. And yeah, I'll let you hear it. I mean, I, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do. So... I like the intro so far. So for the bass part, I'm not liking that fade. So I'm going to have to mess with one of these right here, the mod source. Um, there's definitely going to be some switching 
going on. And I'm not liking the ending right here on this note. I think I... Hi, Augie. Um, I don't like it how it just cuts off. I need it to just fade and then rise up again. I have to figure it out. I know I have to use that. <laughs> So it sounds a bit better. I'm just gonna have to pull this in a little more. Or just shorten that note. So let's see how let's see how that goes. So we're gonna go back. Okay, yeah, that doesn't sound good. So I'm gonna have to shorten that note, extend that more so the sound will go longer. S sounds good there, but in the one in the beginning part, it sounds like not ideal for me. I love the chimes here. It's really cool, so I want you guys to hear this. Sorry, the phone is tilted. How pretty is that? Okay, just an update. I went ahead and added some drums um, from the drum section here, and it's the crystal clear, I believe. Yeah, crystal clear I'm using. So I will let you guys hear what I've written so far. Pretty blue, looks like my guitar pick. Yeah, then I will continue making the drums, but it's sounding really good, I'm surprised. Okay. Hey everyone, so it is 9.26. I took a bit of a break, my mom came home, and so far I'm writing something very good. I'm quite surprised. But, like I said, I think a lot. So, I I don't know how this happened. Um, so, I'm going to reverse the camera to show you what I have so far. So, I'm going to start from right here. Second section. Sounding really good. quiet so I'm gonna add some chimes to this section okay so it is 11 o'clock or so I took a break again so I'm going to play a solo on this and see what I can do with it I really like how it sounds so far so I'm gonna make you know create a solo or something on this and uh that that will be it and yeah Okay, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a bit of a challenge, but I did it. All I really relied on was my ear. We came out with something special, and I'm very happy with creating this track from Ableton. This is so new to me, and 
it's exciting to use software that I've never really dove into. I've been more of a Reaper girl, but I'm ready to move up learn, and get some new stuff into my, you know, some new tools to help me create. And Ableton was great. I definitely would love to buy this. This is perfect for future projects. And I hope you enjoyed this video on creating a track. And I didn't really know much <laughs> about Ableton, but I thank God for all those tutorial videos and trusting my ear on what to create. I really hope this helped someone out there um, who's curious about it. And um, I also, before I leave, I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who supported me, supported me through Instagram. And even when I was away and I didn't put out much, people were still shouting me out and being kind. And I, you know, what you give out, you get in return. So, what, you know, many blessings to you all. You will receive that blessing for being kind. And I also wanted to let you guys know that we raised over $35 from Solitary. I want to thank everyone who supported Solitary so far. And I made a decision that on December 31st, I will go ahead and donate to the Snow Leopard Trust. Since uh, my good friend Melissa, out of the blue, bought two of my albums, uh, she um, raised it to $35. I am so grateful for everyone who went ahead and supported Solitary. We have $35 and counting. I'm hoping to raise $100 in total. We'll go to the Snow Leopard Trust, an organization that I believe in to protect the snow leopards and to educate the people that live in snow leopard territory. Thank you all that, that have supported and if you do plan to support down below in all my videos in solitary, all my links of my album are down below. You can buy it, you could listen to it and stream it. All the musical revenue will go to this amazing snow leopard foundation that I believe in. So thank you to everyone. Again. I hope you guys have a great holiday. I haven't been consistent, I know. I just, you know, gave my all onto solitary and I need some time to think. And I hope you are all safe, doing well and learning more. And I will see you in the next video. That being whenever. Just living my life and being happy. So I hope you enjoy this video. And I will see you in the next. And I love you all very, very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you. And uh, yeah, I will see you when I see you. Bye.